Hello everyone. Oh, so I got the camera on. Hello everyone. This is a the second episode of my thoughts series, which is where I just post my thoughts about various things. The first episode was on E3 2013, and I'll do more episodes on specific games, systems, or books in the future, or, or just anything I feel like talking about. More more coming, but for now I want to talk about the just announced Nintendo 2DS. <laughs> now that I got that out of the way, okay, first of all, I like weird looking systems. When the Wii Mini was announced, I wanted to get one just to have one. I'm a collector. Although right now I'm not really collecting anything, anything because I got very limited money and I probably, I just, the, what money I did have last month I spent on books and now that some really states on some Nintendo first party games have been rearranged. I, uh, I kind of have to replay my money because I was, yeah, but anyway, uh, I, I, I like collecting stuff and I wanted to get the Wii Mini. Of course, I don't think it actually ever came to America, so I could not get it anyway. But I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway because I just I want to collect it, but it's a hundred dollars, and that's still a lot of money for what's essentially something that I have no use for. Uh, with the 3DS, uh, I'm always getting the names mixed stuff. Seriously, the consumer confusion is going to be maddening on on this. And I'm sorry if I stand where my nose is stopped up. It's always stopped up. I can't. I can't help it. The 2DS, uh, the design. I actually really like the design, not because it sucks, because, and actually it probably does kind of suck, but I just like being so used to something like. For example, I was so used to the 3DS, and then I just got a 3DS XL back in June. And it's just, I kind of get tired of spending my time with the same thing. So I could see myself, like, if, if this wasn't announced, going from the 3DS for two or three years to the 3DS XL for two or three years, and then going back to the 3DS, just because I like to change stuff up. But I might do it like this, 3DS, 3DS XL, and then 2DS, if, if I'm crazy enough. The main thing is, of course, lack of 2D. <laughs> I'm not really messing stuff up again. Lack of 3D. And I, I play 3D with all of my games, so that's probably what's going to prevent me from switching back to that in two or three years. But I love just how much of a different design it is because I just love taking something that I love and just creating a different design for it. I love redesigns of stuff. And this is about as redesigned as you can get. <laughs> So the main thing is no 3D. My personal thoughts on it is that it sucks because, like I said, I, I might would want to get one just for the design of the future. Uh, of course, you can't show your 3DS activity log, and I'm a huge activity log person. You can't show your 3DS activity log across 3DS, so I, I wouldn't be able to play on both 3DS itself and 3DS. I would have to stick to one, and of course, the digital downloads. Not being able to be across two systems, so again, I would stick to one. Uh, sorry, I keep saying, uh, uh, but in terms of, uh, of, of how Nintendo is releasing this, I think they're being really smart with this because not everyone cares about 3D. There's some people who don't even, uh, can. I keep saying, oh, damn it. There's some people who can't even see 3D. And I, I really feel sorry for those people because 3D effect is really awesome in my opinion. Of course, there's some people that are blind and that's probably a lot worse. Well, it is a lot worse. Well, it might not be worse to the person if they were born blind because they're used to it. But okay, anyway. <sighs> Get off track here. It's still worse. But anyway, I play th 3D in all my games. It's not for me, but for those who don't care that much, 
this might be, I mean, it's $40 cheaper if you're going to get a 3DS and not get the big screens for the 3DS itself. It's, it's $40 cheaper than the 3DS and $70 cheaper than the 3DS itself. That is like... <laughs> I see a few people complaining, why didn't they just swap the regular 3DS's price to 130 Uh, I think that's because it's pretty much impossible without them losing money. A lot of money. The 3DS's are not that cheap to produce. Not cheap as to sell it for 130 with the 3D and everything. And they cut down quite a lot with this. And... They managed to get it down to 130, which I think is a huge thing. Launching it the same day as Pokemon, it's like, pfft. everyone on Neil Gaff is saying like, it's not going to sell. This who would want to buy this? But there's going to be a lot of people, kids, or even Pokemon adult Pokemon fans as well as kid Pokemon fans who have been waiting for the next Pokemon, been waiting to get 3DS until the next Pokemon come out. They're going to seriously probably consider getting this, and I think a lot of them are going to sell to both of these. And of course, just the people in general who want 3DS for any game, but don't want 3D or just don't care that much to pay 40 extra dollars for 3D. It's a huge thing. The other huge thing is no hinge. Again, I like it just because it changes the design. I like having a, uh, a different design. Because, I mean, the hinges have been been used with the 3DS since 2004. From the original DS all the way to the 3DS itself. And, of course, it's part of the Icons look, the series of DS systems. But, uh... It's cool. I like, I like it to change things around. And this is definitely changing things around. I, I actually really like the design. The one thing I don't like... About the design, it's the same thing I have with the 3DS XL, and that's Nintendo mitts and matching colors. They're saying that red and blue are coming out in America, but seriously, you might as well just say it's all just black, because they're both black on the, well, I was going to say on the inside, but around the screens now that there's no hinge. But not just that, they went a step further. It is almost completely black on the back of the unit as well, if you've seen the pictures on Nintendo.com. And it's only red or blue, like, in the very middle of it and on the edges of it. And I'm like, what the fuck is the point? Just releasing all black, or, or releasing an all red or all blue, what's the fucking point of doing mix and matches? Mix and matches never look good. Uh... For the most part, I really like this pink and uh, white mix and match, and I uh, I think the problem I have with the 3DS itself is just the black did not look good on it. From the few images I've seen, I think the black actually looks really good on the on the 2DS, but and on the original 3DS. But on the 3DS itself, just something about the design made the black look really bad for some reason. I don't I don't know why. But, release some variety of colors, release it red or blue on the edge, it's, it's not two different colors, it's basically, it's basically black any way you look at it. Europe gets a white model, so I hope the white model comes in here, because, oh man, I'm always thinking about collecting it, but I'm probably not. I think this is going to be really successful for Nintendo. I think it would, it, with the holiday season and Pokemon, it would probably be the top selling 3DS unit this holiday season. Uh, of course, if I were to buy this, another annoyance would be the, the stereo speakers, the mono speakers, because it's not stereo. Although it looks like there's another speaker, another much smaller speaker on the other side. I don't know, I don't know what that's for, but I, uh, but I guess it's not for a speaker. It's something that looks like a, a really, really small speaker, like the DSi speaker, but it's not. But it's, it's just mono. That would probably drive me insane because I don't wear have earphones, headphones, with the uh, with playing any games on a uh, on a portable on the 3DS, on the Vita, or on the Wii U. And that would probably drive me insane. It does from time to time on the uh, iPad because the iPad only has one speaker over here, not none on this side. 
Uh, that's not too bad, though. But I um, already complained about the 3DS SL speaker being worse than the 3DS. And I would have to imagine that this would be even worse than the 3DS SL speakers. So, yeah. But overall, I really do like the design. And I think it will be successful for Nintendo. I like it. And, uh... I won't. I can't wait to see some more videos of it. As of right now, the only video that we have is Nintendo's official trailer. We don't have anyone unboxing it or anything yet. I guess we won't have that until all the way in October when people start buying it. So that's kind of sad. I want to see some more videos of it. I would definitely have to hold this and fill it in person to get a clear view. But it actually looks. It actually looks like it could be comfortable. It's kind of weird having the L and R buttons all the way at the top. But even that. It, it feels like it looks weird, and and I like it because it's different, weird. But it looks like it'll actually be pretty comfortable, and I and I definitely want to hold one just to just to see it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the on the three DS, on the two DS, Nintendo. Oh man, they're going to have so many problems. People are going to be like, where's the 2DS games? I see DS and 3DS, but where's 2DS? It's going to be so... <laughs> I don't know how else they could have named it. 3DS 2D? I mean, that sounds even dumber. I actually really like the name, though. Although I like the name of 3DS 2. It's, they're both good names. I like it. Uh... Just think, this time next year they'll release a redesign called the 4DS. Well, both screens are 3D, creating 4D graphics, or so I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is my thoughts on the 2DS, Nintendo 2DS. If you like this video, then please subscribe. I make all kind of f videos from funny YouTube news to NeoGAF news as well. We can NeoGAF gaming or off-topic news, off-topic random posts. And I do some Let's Plays, and I'll do more of my thoughts. I want to do my thoughts episodes on... The new Mario 3D World that will come sometime in in September, sometime in September, and until next time, wahoo! 2DS. What the fuck have they done? If you like this video, please subscribe. More of my thoughts coming soon, and more, check out my other videos like YouTube news, let's plays, NeoGAF news, and more. Until next time, wahoo hoo 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 hoo! 2DS!